my name is Camden Burns, and today I will be exploring how sports affects one's identity and their perception of self. And the question I want to learn is, who are you? Okay, so identity is defined as the distinguishing character, a personality of an individual, or the relationship established by psychology. Now there are many factors that play into your perception of self, like race, religion, and where you were born. All of these help shape who you are today and who you have yet to become. But what about sports? What role does sports play in this dynamic? I pose this question to a series of athletes that have played and continue to play at the highest level. Let's get their perspective. Hi everyone, this is Fred Barnett, formerly of the Philadelphia Eagles, and I am here to answer a question. Will an athlete lose their sense of identity without sports? Well, I hope not. I'm hoping an athlete would have a sense of who they are or a sense of their identity before sports, during sports, and even after sports. For an example, for myself, I gained more of an identity uh, during sports, but I had an identity, identity before sports. So can an athlete lose a sense of identity without sports? I don't think so. At least I hope not. So Fred brings up some really good points. Going into sports, you should have an understanding of who you are, and while sports may shape or refine key personality traits like competitiveness, it should not solely define you. But what about the effects on young athletes such as myself? How does sports shape young minds? Let's get some other thoughts. This is my take on how sports affected my identity. It had a negative effect on me because when I started playing sports, I didn't have an identity. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know uh, where I wanted to go with sports. I didn't even know whether I was comfortable being myself. Sports kind of gave me, um, I'm gonna say life, like I was noticed. When I walked down the street, people saw me. Um, so it gave me an identity that I thought, but it wasn't my identity. So I really thought I was just superstar this basketball player and I should be treated a certain way because I played basketball. So it gave me a negative identity until later on I realized sports wasn't my identity. It's not who I am. It was just my vehicle for getting my family to where I wanted my family and to be in life. So uh, it had a negative effect because I thought sports was my identity. I thought I was a basketball player, but I was just a person. I was just a young man that played sports. So, and I don't want you guys to have or any anybody watching this to think that what you're doing is your identity it's all a vehicle your identity is with who you are inside so that's my take on sports and identity we've just heard some of the negative impacts of sports from Turk Lamont he explains how sports gave him a false perception of who he was as a young man identifying solely as a basketball player According to ESPN, approximately 21.5 million American children between the ages of 6 and 17 are involved in a team sport. AAU is the big business. Even though it's just a game, it's not all rainbows. While most psychological effects of sports on children and the youth are positive, there can be many drawbacks. What we learned so far is that the I and team is identity. Let's continue our journey. Franklin. Um, I'm from inner city Philadelphia. I'm currently living in Iceland, uh, playing my 15th year of professional basketball uh, overseas. Uh, in terms of how sports has helped to shape my identity uh, and create a sense of self, um, you know, playing basketball has pretty much taught me many of the life lessons and values that I've picked up over the course of the years. Uh, and gave me something positive to latch on to, as well as give me an outlet, a constructive outlet, uh, and opportunities to travel the world, experience different cultures, uh, and make a living for myself and help me support my family. So, you know, uh, I mean, it's been absolutely paramount in shaping my personality and helping me develop a good character 
uh, teach me how to persevere, and I don't know where I would be without sports. From Chaz Franklin's perspective, sports can build character, but it doesn't just happen. We must be intentional about it. Identity formation can be positive or negative. It's a process through which we as individuals are able to choose from an array of potential self-definitions, which we apply in daily interaction with others. Some key things we learned today are self-perception can definitely be altered by sports. Sports can be used as a vehicle or tool for education and a career. Individual identity and sports identity are not the same. And while sports doesn't solely determine who we are, it does help form character. The last part of my video in a bit of self-reflection. As an athlete, I'm seeking to understand who I am. As a young black man, there are many perceptions foreign about my identity. How I'm perceived by others is not a true reflection of me. As a student athlete, sports has played a major role in my character and identity formation. But I am not just a basketball player. The character of a person, in conjunction with their personalities, make up who they are and how they act. I am Camden Burns a son, a brother, a friend, and, and I am also a young black man who will be headed off to college in a few short years, and I plan to use sports to get there. You know who you are, 